In this video, we're gonna talk about the six must know signs and symptoms of depression so you can find out if you're struggling with depression or maybe somebody that you know. So stay tuned as we discuss. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. We currently live in a time where more people are struggling with depression than ever before, but a lot of people unfortunately don't get help because they don't know if they're just struggling with some sadness or if it's actually depression and they need to seek out help. So let's go over the six must know signs and symptoms of depression, all right? Starting out with number one. The first one is not finding pleasure in the things that you, you used to find that were really fun and enjoyable. So for example, when my depression was at its worst, I, I used to like just like having fun and just goofing off and singing in the car. And like, I remember these feelings of being completely numb and that wasn't fun for me. I was also someone who liked to play video games and go out and hang out with friends. These things that used to be very enjoyable for me, they just weren't anymore. So think about, is there anything that you used to really enjoy doing, but now you just don't really care for it? Sign number two is either overeating or a loss of appetite. But when it comes to depression, this is something that has changed, okay? So this has nothing to do with an eating disorder or anything like that. But when you get depressed, you might find that you start either binge eating, just overeating a ton, or you just find that you're not really hungry all that much. Symptom number three is restlessness or irritability, or maybe even both. And this is just really just, everything is just kind of getting on your nerves and you don't really like people. Like I, when my depression was going rampant, like I didn't want to go out in public. Like I just disliked everybody. And even the people closest to me, they really irritated me. Like I didn't like spending time with my son or my family or my friends or anybody. But I also had this kind of restlessness where I just really felt uncomfortable being in my own skin. Symptom number four is when you have any kind of physical symptoms that, that kind of persist, okay? So one thing that we've learned through a bunch of scientific research is how the mind and body are really, really connected in this way. So when you're feeling depressed and your brain's not functioning properly, it's not getting the right neurotransmitters, you might have some aches or pains or some other kind of physical illness symptoms that you can't really pinpoint and when we're talking about them persisting, like for instance, you've gone to the doctor or you've taken medicine or whatever the case may be, but these symptoms just aren't going away. Symptom number five is having suicidal thoughts or ideations, okay? And if this is the case, right here, I'm gonna put the number for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline as well as their text line. So if this is you, I highly suggest that you stop this video, call or text them right now and just get somebody on the other line, talk to them a little bit, and then we'll figure out the next steps. But this ties into the next symptom that we're gonna talk about, but when you're going through all these different symptoms, these thoughts start to come into your head. And whether it's, you know, just feeling down all the time or it's this feeling of numbness, you know, this is when these thoughts start to come. I'm somebody who's struggled with them for a very, very, very long time. So this, this is something that happens a lot for people who are feeling depressed. And this is one of the key indicators. So again, if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, please make sure that you reach out to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. Finally, symptom number six is feelings of hopelessness or constant pessimism. So when we're feeling depressed, we feel like this is never going to end. We feel like it's never gonna change. I'm always gonna be down. I'm always gonna feel like this. Nothing's ever gonna get better. It doesn't matter what happens in my life and just constant negativity. So a lot of us, you know, just as human beings, we have this kind of negative bias, but depression is so, so, so much different. It's where we think every single thing in our life is gonna have some kind of negative outcome. We're extremely, pessimistic about it. And when talking about, you know, the fifth symptom of suicidal thoughts, that hopelessness, that things are never going to change, sometimes we think that there's only one way out of this thing. But I'm here to tell you as somebody who has survived through depression many, many times, it does get better and it can get better when you get the right type of help. So like I said, I will also put a link into the description for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. But if you're somebody who is struggling with depression, one of the best things that you can do is simply talk to a therapist. Talk to a therapist. Therapists are there and they go to school and they get licensed in this thing to help people who are struggling with depression. So this isn't a sponsored video, but 
an online therapy program has hooked me up with an affiliate link to give you all some cheap, affordable online therapy. So if you would like to check it out, there is a link to online therapy in the description below. Basically, you'll have access to hundreds and hundreds of different therapists around the country. We're pretty much at your beck and call 24 seven. So if you wanna check it out, if you feel like you're struggling with depression or you know somebody who's struggling with depression, please click on the link below, check it out and see if there's anything they can do for you, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and this will also let me know if you want me to cover more videos about depression. And if you have any questions, please, please, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you think you know somebody who's struggling with depression, please share this video with them so they can kind of pinpoint and see if they are struggling with these six different symptoms of depression, okay? but. That's all the time we got for today. If you are new here, make sure you click that little round subscribe button right below. My entire channel is to help out people with their mental and emotional well-being. And if you'd like to check out some other videos on my channel, click or tap on one of the thumbnails to the left of me. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.